Good morning friends, Hot Rod Typewriter Company. Today we are working on a Voss, what is this, the 24, the 32, I don't know, one of those divisible by, yeah, whatever. It's a Voss, I like it. I like these Voss machines, this is my first, I have one, I've had one before, but it was so bad that I just returned it. Sorry guy that I bought it from. Um, this one I decided to keep because my experience level has increased, so I'm pretty confident that I can sort this one out now. So this one is pretty messed up. I mean, it's functional. It, it types like things move and, and ding. But other than that, it's just completely a, a wreck. So paid a lot of money for this thing. Let's see if we can give it some justice. Some typewriter justice. All right, guys. This is the overview of the Voss. We're going to do a quick... I already tore this thing down. And it's kind of just sitting in its tore down state together to look like it's together but it's really tore down so what we're gonna do the first thing we get the boss it's it's also gonna have this back hold on let me grab this other these other tchotchkes there's like the deluxe panel back there this is all pretty self-explanatory to take off but we'll go through those when you get the boss machine take it take a look at it it's pretty pretty messed up you're gonna pop up pop open these covers and pull out the ribbon because that's the first thing to go. And the next thing that we're gonna do is take out this platen. And this platen just, these are just, yeah, see, it's just for show. This is all smoke and mirrors. But yeah, these are just unscrewable in, in the platen. So you just grab onto both of them and give them a twist and they pop off. Same, same as this one on this side. Oh, magic, that thing came off all by its own. Yeah, so there's the other, the other side. Now that you got those off, the platen will be easy to, to pull up. You just yank it out. Oh yeah, this one, you got to move the uh, paper release. There's this little bar guy. Look at how filthy this thing is. Can you see that? That is some crust. Nasty. Okay. Hold on, I'm just admiring this crust. Okay, yeah, so pull the paper release and that'll clear this this little bar from holding in the, the platen and that'll pop right out so now you got your platen out you can send in a JJ short or wrap it in a bicycle tube and type for a couple days before you realize you need to send it to JJ short here's the uh, paper tray this isn't attached with anything special this just pops right out it just sets in these hooks there's little uh, guy hooks on the edge here that you just sit that down into set that aside and then the same thing with the feed rollers the feed rollers they're not mounted any specific way they just sit there on the, the little uh, end pieces they just rock in there sit there under its normal weight so yeah JJ short can have those too all those that's JJ short part. um yeah and then after that you, you can take these these side covers off might as well. It's, it's a couple screws on the side here. One, two big screws, and then on the back, there's going to be two small screws. And then this will pop off, and they, they designed it really well. Cutouts, so everything comes out nice. You can just slide it out, and that'll pop right out. The other side is the same. Look at all this chrome that's popping off. That's going to need to be re-chromed. But yeah, the same two fat black screws, and then on the back, two tiny tiny shiny metal ones and when that pops off the uh, the back plate comes with it this Voss logo extra filth I don't know maybe that used to be sound dampening now it's like symbiosis cat fur sound dead All right. next thing I did was pulled off these card guides Okay, this card guide system is pretty freaking uh, well engineered. It's got a lot of moving parts, a lot of springs, and it, it's broken. Oh, it's not broken. It's just it's it, it's not working properly. So what I did is I went to the side here, and you can see here's the card guide thing. There's this little screw. Here, let me get my pointer guy. Pointer guy. There. You see the pointer guy? Yeah, that screw right there. That screw 
sits right into this bracket system right there. Can you see it? Think, 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 think. Sorry, my dog. My dog ate the. Where's the end of it? You know, we're wasting time. Look, my dog eats everything. Hey, why you eat everything? Okay, back to the typewriter world. Yeah, where were we? oh yeah, so there. That little bracket, filth, bracket, screw, both sides, and then this whole thing comes out. And you can see how it's supposed to be spring-loaded. There's a weird spring system and a eccentric thing on the end there, but you see how it's loopy. I fixed this one, I figured out how to set the spring right, and now it's like spring-loaded how it should be. But this needs to be restored. See how this machine was used, used. So yeah, that'll be a separate video. I'll show a separate video how to set these springs and set this card guide up so it's no longer floppy. I don't know if that's a common thing, but these springs are off. And see, it's just not doing its doing its thing. So that'll go into the rework pile. Um, where's the center back plate? There's this other nameplate on the front here, behind the paper bale. It has like the uh, scale, paper scale for the margins. It's pretty simple to get off to, self-explanatory. You can see there's two holes. Pointer. Do we need pointer? Nope. Pointer's gone. Finger is pointer now. So yeah, there's there's two screws there, two screw holes. They coincide with the two screw holes on the front here, and then it's a. Uh, It'll be bolted in with a flat head, and then there'll be a 5.5 mil uh, nut on the back, so you'll have to, to, to get that off. But once you pull off those four, two on this side, two on this side, then this whole thing slides off, and then you can work the, uh, this thing was broken too when I got it, but I formed it out of, it got it straight, it was just a little sat on, somebody sat on it, or stood on it, or whatever, whatever you do with the typewriter that you don't like. Yeah, so now this this thing pops, switchblade style, Olympia style. Clean, clean that up later. All right, where are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we got the top half of the machine pretty well pulled off. I haven't even looked at these systems yet, so that might be another thing. Which it's all self-explanatory. I might pull that off. I might not. Just to get to these, redo these rollers. That'll be a separate video. Um, Space bar needs to come off. This thing has been used, guys. Look at this. There's fingernail marks like a cat trying to get out of a closet. Can you see it? Oh yeah, there we go. Man, this, this person loved this machine, loved the type on this machine. The keys are the same way. There's some fingernail marks, which is fine. I mean, it, used machines are, are great. They're nice and broken in, a little sloppy, a little quick. It's fine, I'll take it if, if I can make it look a little better. This is warped. It's been heat warped or just crappy plastic over time. I might try to unwarp that. Um, use a heat gun and a piece of flat steel, push on it, get it back together, squeeze it, form it nice. And then I might try to polish out those scratches. I might sand it and polish those scratches out. But anyway, the space bar is pretty simple to pop out. It's got down in here, there's two screws. This one's missing all the screws. So it was twist tied on, which is cool. That's how we like to do it in the Gruber world. But yeah, it was twist tied into there. There's two two screws there, there, and it mounts into there. Both sides, and you can just pop this whole space bar assembly out. Anybody have a 3D printer? I can mail this to you, you can try your best, and then send me back whichever part you want. But this one is pretty gone. It works, it's just not pretty. Into the other not pretty pile. All right, so machine is now stripped and ready for body removal. Uh, Voss is very simple to remove this case, shell, whatever you want to call it, body work. Um, these are bearing captured covers you can see there's a little ball bearing in there blink you slide it backwards and then you tilt it and then the case comes the, the lid pops off and sits in there and you got these little spring-loaded balls that hold it in 
very, very cool. Uh, unlock the carriage. Get that out of the way last bell. Let's see that. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do nicely. So, pop that guy open. Um, we're looking for the body mount screws. Now, this machine, this shell weighs more than the typewriter, so it's a beast. It, it only needs that screw right there on the side, directly next to the ribbon. You're looking down at, here's the ribbon. There's the body screw. One right there, go to the other side. Ribbon, other body screw. Okay, pretty, pretty easy. That's all that holds this machine on. And then it's good to go. So I'm gonna close these covers just so they stay protected. Once you get those covers off, or I mean those uh, those two body screws out, since you pulled these covers and the platinum uh, platinum knobs on either side, and then this back panel came off, um, everything else should be pretty simple to to do from this point on. Just slide the carriage over to the left as far as it can go until you hear that bell, and then as I'm doing this one-handed, so we'll see if we can we can finagle this without. Looking like complete idiots. Yeah, so we're just gonna lift up and then feed our way out the side. Oop, those aren't pills, those are screws, which are my drug of choice. So there you go. Weave it out that way through the carriage arm. And now you got the boss. Like I said, this thing is solid. This this part right here weighs more than that part right there, which is cool. Uh, this thing's cracked. You can see it. Yeah, it's got a crack. Unfortunately, that happens. I don't know. Somebody tried to nab it, tried to sc scrape it off and keep it put it in their pocket, but that happens. I've seen it before. This this body is in need of some love, so we're gonna wet sand and polish that out new dots get it get it good to go yeah so that will go into the and there's pointy pointer come back you can sit next to shaving brush shaving cream but shaving cream brush yeah gets in there knocks all that out pretty fatty brush dollar store my favorite typewriter repair headquarters but anyway sorry about the lighting guys I'm working in a add-on addition room that we built so I can work on typewriters here. But yeah, look at this thing. Super filthy. Beautiful. Just the way you like it. <laughs> look at that. This thing is gnarly. Segment is good. It came it came a little stuck like you see there, but um, I ran some mineral spirits through just Brown dogs and presidents doing things to their yeah countries of old men. Anyway, yeah. So that's it. That's the the Voss machine disassembled. Yeah, just admiring the the goo. This thing, this thing, like a lot of these carriage lift machines, they're under tension and it has so much weight on it from the panels and the platen and the feed rollers that it kind of just has zero gravity when you take the weight off of it but that can be checked out if it's an issue this will all have to be cleaned up so it works better so man this is a nice nice machine we'll get get in there and clean that up and sit at the bottom the bottom is nice no rust in the spring so it's just all surface goo filth so yeah this machine will work it will just need to be sorted out and we'll sort some things out we'll show you guys how we sort some things out I'm gonna take this around the back back side of the barn give it a clean show you how I clean these filthy machines and get them ready to put back together only takes a couple minutes but yeah we'll old yeller this thing around the back of the barn Give it a squirt, squirt, rinse it off. All right, guys. Volume one, issue two, boss number 3024. Have a good day, Hot Rod Typewriter Company. Did I say that? If not, you heard it again. Bye.